Create a frequency table using four classes. Let's go ahead and do it. This is a super easy problem. The first thing you want to do is maybe count how many numbers you have. We have 14 numbers total, so 14 numbers. This is useful uh, so that you can check your answer as we go through the problem. The next thing you want to do is compute the class width. So the formula for the class width, the class width is equal to the max, that's the biggest number, minus the min, that's the smallest number, and then you have to divide by the number of classes. So divide by the number of classes. And in this formula, you always round up no matter what. You always round up to the same number of decimal places as the data. So here we have no decimal places, so we round up to the next whole number. So here the max is 8, that's the biggest number. The min is 1, that's the smallest number. And we're told to use four classes, so we divide by 4. This is equal to 7 over 4, which is 1.75. And we have whole numbers, so we have to round up, no matter what, to the next whole number. So the class width, in this case, is equal to 2. So that's our class width. If, for example, we had gotten, say, 1.1, we would still round up to 2. It's a special rounding rule. You always round up, no matter what. If you get 2.001, you go to 3. 3.16, you go to 4, etc. And we round up to a whole number because we only have whole numbers. Okay, let's go ahead and draw our table. So this just says frequency table. So in this example, let's just do the classes and the frequencies. We'll keep it really simple. So classes, it's supposed to be a straight line, <laughs> and frequencies. Okay, so to do the classes, the first step is to write down the smallest number. So in this case, the smallest number is 1, so you just write down 1. And then you add the class width, and you want to work down. If you remember to work down, you, you won't mess up, so work down. So the class width is 2, so we add 2, so 1 plus 2 is 3. Then you add 2 again, so you get 5. And then you add 2 again, and you get 7. And you stop here because we have four classes, right? You don't want to keep going forever. Then you draw dashes, that's what I do, little, little dashes. They're not minus signs, they're dashes. And then to get the number that, that goes up here, you ask yourself, what is the number right before three with no decimal places? Because we have none, so two. Again, the number right before three with no decimals is two. And then to get the rest of them, you add the class width and work down. So two plus two is four, plus two is six, plus two is eight. To find the frequencies, you just count how many numbers you have between 1 and 2. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. Boom, we have 4. 3s and 4s, 1, 2, 3, so 3. 5s and 6s, let's see, 1, 2, 3, so 3. And 7s and 8s, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, I almost missed that one, so 4. And that's it, that's a frequency table or a frequency distribution. The reason I wrote this down at the beginning is because these numbers, the, the add, they add to 14. So it's a good check on your answer. If the frequencies add up to the total number, you're probably right. So I hope this helps. This was probably the easiest possible um, example. Maybe I'll make some more videos with harder ones, with decimals, with cumulative frequencies and, and stuff like that. I hope this helps.